back in. You're king, because of Jefferson. Descendant of Godfrey, the fifth kind of man, Jew. Here by my side is always my queen, sister Godwin, sent from the house of Godwin. Our bitch of from the house of Belmont, called Judith from the house of Murphy, brother Earl from the house of uh, Burgess, uh, as well as our students, our uh, brother, Co sister uh, Walker, uh, brother Corey Scott, as well as brother Milliton and brother Gray from the house of Gray, as well as all those who are privy to this studious lesson today in regards to your birthright as an heir. In order to be an heir, you must be a grantee. You must be a grantee because a grant was given by way of the minor. It is only two type of grants can be given by a minor. One to his heirs and one to foreigners. If you were a foreigner, you were given a grant by a letter patent, which is based off denization. If you are national, then you must have it by way of what we call just St. Guinness, which is by blood. But transferred by way of operation of law, just like birthright does by operation of law. And we're gonna show you that it passed by operation of law because here you see it, operation of law, the county courts, which is according to the statute is not legislatively constructed according to the constitution. It's just for reference purposes. So when we incorporate it into the county, our authority don't come from the county because the county's authority is not even legislatively constructed. What we did is incorporate it in the county, but our authority supersedes the county because it derives from the common law where it supersedes the common law, I mean the county, because under the law of the state, there's only one law, and that's the common law of England. So that means that we're not subject to the jurisdiction of the county or municipality, because jurisdiction means declared law. What law are you declaring? We declaring, the, we declaring that the law of the common law of England is our law, because we're the heirs and successors of the common law of England. Why? Because non certificate corporation is said right there at the bottom of grantees. Mm -hmm. Do y'all see that? That's just grantee. The Third Temple English Church of England. Book and page number. Book type. How many pages represents our charter, our certificate or corporation based off grantees? <clears throat> Not a grantee is the one who inherit something from a grantor. <clears throat> you must have a grantor. So if there's a grantor, and we're the grantees, then all the rights that was granted by way of conveyance, conveyance of the express trust come to the grantees. Now, I didn't tell that clerk to go put grantee down there. She did it herself. She put grantee down there. Why? Because the laws within our certificate of corporation states that we are the heirs and successors. Why? Because the authority under the charter conveyed by way of a constituent corporation that existed throughout time and memorial was invested in our certificate of corporation, which is also a charter based off what law? Let's see. We ain't just talking, y'all. I'll we'll probably have to share it again. Well, let's share it. This property, Title 46, 46-7-5. New Jersey Revised Statute, Title 46 Property, Section 46, 7 5. Conveyance to religious societies prior to the incorporation, valid after incorporation. What is this saying? That everything in lieu, in lieu of conveyance of property under Title 46 is still valid prior to the certificate of incorporation in lieu of the power and authority we have in lieu of conveyance of property as a religious society under Title 16. Because our rights come from 16 28. Right state on the charge of Great Britain safe from repair. Mm -hmm. So I mean that any property that belongs to the British society known as the English Fairy Temple Church under England's common law, we have the right to convey that back to us as the grantees, as established in our certificate of incorporation, pertaining to the authority power established under our articles of incorporation based off the common law that has been interpreted in the statute. As we read it now, Title 46. This is the statute. Now mm -hmm. read what it says. Brother uh, Scott. 46 colon 7 5. Conveyances to religious societies prior to incorporation valid after incorporation. Where any conveyance of real estate has been made, executed, and recorded in favor of any religious society, 
association or corporation of this state as the grantee there is. How about that? One second, one second. I don't know what it is that. What was that? Um, oh yeah, 46,500. Where did it just go? Just the right there. All right. Go ahead. Start from the beginning. No, continue where you were. Okay, such so societies, corporations, um, uh, religious societies, corporations, or associations have failed, has failed to record and file the proper certificate of incorporation in the manner prescribed by Title 16. Corporations and associations, religious or by any law in force at the time when any such society, corporation, or association was incorporated or attempted to be incorporated until after the making and execution of such conveyance and the recording thereof, any and all such conveyances shall be as valid and effectual in law as if made, executed and delivered to such religious societies, associations or corporations after the filing and recording of the proper certificate of incorporation and as if made to such religious societies associations or corporations during the period of its corporate existence and the record of any such conveyance so made to any such religious society, association or corporation prior to the recording and filing of its certificate of incorporation as aforesaid shall be of the same force and effect as if the conveyance had been made, executed, and recorded subsequent to the recording and filing of such certificate of incorporation and shall be admissible in evidence as fully and completely for all purpose as if such conveyance had been made and recorded during the corporate existence of such society, uh, society, association, or corporation. Okay, so here you have on the six, uh, 46 colon 7-5, the authority under Title under 46, Code 7 5, to convey property in lieu of Title 16 at the religious society. All right. Now, the same language you see here in conveyance to property is the same language styled in 16, uh, uh, colon 16 1, colon 43 uh, 789. Let's go to that. Uh, yeah, let's go there. Title 46, no, oh, Title 16. But before we go, let's go here first. Title 46, uh, 8 2. Everything is statutory sound for us, grantees and assignees. Read that, Brother Scott. Forty six eight dash two grantees or assignees of leased real estate or reversions thereof rights same as those of original lessers. OK, before you read on, a lesser is the one who's assuming to be the landlord, i.e. your mortgage, one who holds your mortgage or the one who holds the rights in the lease. They're called lesser and the lessee is the tenant. <laughs> which you said you were. They assume you were the tenant because you subject to the lease agreement by the lesser, when actually he's the tenant because you're the grantee. Now, and the benefits of the grantee outweigh those of the tenant. And read what those benefits are. Statutory. Now, this is what protects you as a grantee, assumed to be a tenant because the lesser said you were. When he's actually the tenant because the lesser is you, the grantee. Make sense? From, understood. From and after what it says. From and after November 10th, 1797, all persons and bodies, politic and corporate, being grantees or assignees of any real estate let to lease or of the revisions thereof Reversion. reversions thereof from any person and the heirs executors, administrators, successors, and assigns of such grantees or assignees, 
shall have and enjoy the like advantages against the leases, their executors, administrators, and assigns by entry for non-payment of rent or for waste or other forfeitures and also shall have and enjoy all the convenience. Convenience is, what is that, convenient? Covenants. Covenants. Conditions and agreements contained in their leases, demises or grants against the leases, their executors, administrators, and assigns as the lessors themselves or their mm. heirs ought or might have had or enjoyed at any time. Man, that right there is powerful. It's now, it, it's now transferring back the power over the grantee to the grantee from the lesser mm -hmm. who put the grantee as the tenant. And now what it's saying, it says from after November 10th, 1797, all persons and bodies, positive or corporate, being the grantee or assignee of any real estate, let to leave, mean that ain't been rented yet, or 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 of reversion, which means have not been returned yet, they are from any person and the heirs, executors, and administrators successor in the society of such grantee or assignee to have and enjoy the like advantage against the lesser, lessees, these landlords going around here. Their executors, administrators, and assignees by entry for nine payment of rent, i.e. being common circuits, or for waste, i.e. for not taking care of the property, or forfeiture, not paying the rent like you were supposed to, because you got me paying this shit. You supposed to be paying it. Not me. Why? Because I'm the grantee. You're the tenant, the tenant which took my place as the lesser, and you're not. So as a result of that, it says, and I shall also have the right of enjoyment of all agreements, conditions, covenant means agreement, or agreement contained in the lease. So that means that all free common silkers that were established by you as a lesser to a tenant, being that I am the grantee now, all that stuff you was getting, I now comes to me. Mm -hmm. That's called free common circuit. That means that you now become the landlord of all the tenements. And anybody who stayed as a tenant over the lesser has to pay you now because his, his position has been disqualified. Because he's not the administrator of trust based off the grantee has said it's supposed to be based off the express will of the trust established by the grantor, i.e. the king. Man, we bad. King Bench is so bad, man. Let's <laughs> see another statutory law. 46 colon 5 dash 2. We ain't just up here talking. We showing you the common law. Point of interest, these would be equivalent to your so-called Bible verses. Yes, sir. Equivalent to your Bible verses. Our charter is our Bible. Yes, sir. That's our Bible. Read that, Brother Scott. Grantor, grantee, release, construed. Whenever in any deed there shall be used the words, the grantor or the said releases to the said grantee or the said all his claims upon the said lands, such deed shall be construed as if it set forth that the grantor or releaseor hath remised, released, and forever quit claimed, and by these presents doth remise, release, and forever quit claim unto the grantee or releasee, his heirs and assigns all right, title, and interest whatsoever, both at law and in equity, in or to the lands and premises granted or released or intended so to be, so that neither he nor his personal representatives, his heirs or assigns shall at any time thereafter have claim, challenge or demand the said lands and premises or any part thereof in any manner what, whatever. That's called cloud type, clearing the cloudy type, quick claim. That means that once and for all, it says that the grantor has relinquished quick claim all the authority of its rights and interest in that property to the grantee. It didn't say nothing about no lesser. It didn't say nothing about no tenant. It says the grantee. It established that uh, a, a corporation can't be a grantee in lieu of 
uh, holding property because it must pass by operational law to the heir. Mm -hmm. We are heirs. How we know that? Let's go to here. More statutes. Back to Title 16. Everything confirmed by the common law. Sixteen. One. Read that. This is the process that we did and follow in lieu of us filing that certificate of corporation. Right of religious societies or congregations. Yeah, this is that this statute we're about to read was the process we took to incorporate on the county level and look where it got us. Let's go back. Uh, read that. 16.1-1, Incorporation of Religious Societies or Congregations. Members of every religious society or congregation entitled to protection in the free use of their religion by the constitution and laws of their state may assemble at their usual place of meeting for public worship at any time agreed upon by them after at least 10 days notice of the time and purpose of assembling given by an ad advertisement set up in open view at or near the place of meeting and when so assembled a plurality 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 okay the votes of the members of such society or congregation over 18 years of age who regularly contribute to its support and who are present at such meetings may elect any number of such society or congregation to be its trustees for the purpose of incorporating such society or congregation as provided in section 16 1-2 of this title okay let's go ahead 16 colon 16 colon 1 dash 43.7 8 and 9. that's how y'all gotta know this like off your tongue mm -hmm. now these terms here are synonymous with birthright gifts legacy bequests all that stuff is synonymous with the birthright now look what the statute says with, about birthright, which is synonymous with the terms gift, legacy, bequisement, and all the other, other synonymous terms. Look what it says under the statute. Under Title 16, in regards to us as a religious society, with our rights protected by statutory law, i.e. the common law. Look what it says that we can do. 16, 1-437, gifts, legacies, etc., to vest in consolidated corporation continuation of separate constituents. Every gift, grant, legacy, bequest, or devise, in trust or otherwise, vested or contingent in possession or expectancy, contained in any will or other instrument made before or after the consolidation to or for or inuring or occurring to either constituent corporations shall vest in, inure, and accure to be the benefit of the consolidated corporation as effectually as though made to it and in its name and for its use and benefit, subject to all estates, trusts, interests, and conditions imposed in relation thereto, and every such will or other instrument shall take effect subject to the provisions of this act and any consolidation here under. So far as many be necessary to accomplish the foregoing, the separate corporation, corporate entity and name of each constituent corporation shall be continued for the purpose of in, enabling it to accept and receive every such gift, grant, legacy, bequest, or devise as fully as though the consideration had not been affected. Consolidation. The consolidation. Consolidation. consolidation had not been affected. And the trustee chapter or other governing body of the consolidated corporation shall, for such purpose, be deemed to be the trustees chapter or other governing body of the constituent corporation immediately upon the 
accrual, accrual or receipt of each such gift grant legacy bequest or devise or the proceeds thereof the title to the same shall be vested in the considered consolidated corporation subject to all estates trusts interests and conditions imposed in relation thereto okay so we have the right as this society to make sure that everything that was passed down by way of gift legacy by the heirs successors of the english descendants we have the right to take it back mm -hmm. all right as with society under 46 column 7 5 in regards to conveyance of property to a religious society by way of the incorporation under 16 143-7 and 40 16 column 1 that 43 8 and 9 which you're about to go to right now and this will be the closing of this lecture uh 43 dash right here we did seven this is 43.8 of title 16 chapter one uh vested rights and privileges of constituent corporations continuation of corporate existence read that 16 1-43 eight vested rights and privileges of the constituent corporations continuation of corporate existence Nothing herein contained shall impair, shall impair annual or affect any vested rights, charter rights, privileges, exemptions, immunities, powers, prerogatives, Prerogative. prerogatives, uh, franchises or advantages heretofore obtained and actually used or enjoyed by either constituent corporation under authority of any act of this state. Neither constituent corporation shall be dissolved nor shall its existence be terminated by reason of the consolidation, but it shall continue to exist in the consolidated corporation which shall succeed to and continue to have and enjoy unimpaired the several rights, charter rights, privileges, exemptions, immunities, powers, uh, prerogatives, franchises, and advantages of the constituent corporations consistently with the provisions of this act and of the consolidation agreement. Okay, so now this brings you back to your certificate of incorporation. And let me bring that up and it will be our closing. that I don't see it. Okay, here we go. Where did this at? This is behind me. Let's see. Oh, that's oh. it behind me. I see it. You see it? Yeah, it's behind here. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Can anybody see that? Yep. Very important for you all to see this and understand. Now, everybody won't get a copy of this because this is the integrity of the movement. I'm just showing y'all as uh, heirs and successors how important it is to be a part of the religious society, the church, because outside of that church, you have no birthright. Mm -hmm. So it's not about an individual right because the right you have at the individual is collective. It belongs to everybody who are members of the church as established by way of us uh, uh, incorporating pursuant to 16 colon 1-42.7, 1 8, and 9, which Brother Scott just read. So here you see, I'm going to breathe right through it. This is the cover sheet, Berlin Society, Corporation Soul, 16 1-28, right seat under charge of Great Britain, 
That's the county clerk, Nancy J. Pinkin, Mrs. County, New Jersey. The fee paid under 16 colon 1 dash 2. 16 colon 1 dash 1 says you have the right to a religious society protected by the Constitution as well as the state pursuant to 16 colon 1 dash 2, which deals with the paying of the fee at the county clerks under 22A colon 2, 20, was it 12 dash A, 12A dash 22 dash 1929. We're not going to go through that because that just deals with the fee. What I'm showing you is a certificate of corporation of our religious society. And each page has a book, page number, CFN number, and page 1 through 13. Here's your corporation. So we're not going to read it because I don't want everybody trying to copy it. Article mm -hmm. 1, name and address. Article 2, this is a corporation show of a royal peculiar, the crown. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. This is the crown. Now they doctored this. It says the royal peculiar is the crown. A corporation soul is a legal entity consists of a single soul incorporating office occupied by a single soul natural person. The structure allows corporations, often malicious corporations or commonwealth government to pass without interruption from one office holder to the next, give a position legal continu continuity with subsequent office holders having identical powers and possessions to their pre predecessors. That's a charter. Mm -hmm. We call it a typical corporation. What's the purpose of our charter? and means for orderly transfer of ecclesiastical property serving to keep the title within the denomination of religious society in order to keep the religious property from being treated as the state of the Roman Catholic Church. The property was titled to the office of the corporation soul. The corporation soul, <coughs> the crown is the legal embodiment of the executive, legislative, and judicial governance and the monarchy of East Commonwealth. Y'all hear that? <laughs> this thing is a certificate of a corporation. Mm -hmm. Uh, the minarchies are united, united by the per personal union of their minarch, but they are independent states. The concept of the crown developed first in England as the separation of the literal crown and property of the kingdom for the purpose, from the purchase and personal property of the minarch. Article 4. A member's purpose. The Magna Carta Clause 1 states that the liberties of, e of the English church, not the person, of the English church first that we have granted to God and by this first present charter have conferred for us and our heirs in perpetuity that the English church should be free and to have its rights undiminished, its liberties unimpaired as the English king and successor's duty and allegiance to restore the period's life and history of English Anglo-Saxon versus the English church, our custom laws, tradition, religious belief, back to time and memorial here in America. Commemorate our saints, martyrs, and past kings and queens. We saw the mysterious of King e mysteries of King Edgar the Peaceful, or uh, King Edgar, known as to us Jesus Christ. Then you got Article Five, duration, six qualifications, seven, eight, nine, as set forth by the bylaw. Article Ten, our board of trustees. Article Eleven, I incorporated, which is me, and then here is our laws. Article Twelve, statutory code of powers and authority under the common law of England. Look how far it is. All statutory law. Mm -hmm. We also have in here, in case those we have right here. Title 22, then 1606 charter promulgated by the 22 Code of Virginia, Title 1, still provision pursuant to the 2022 New Jersey by Statute 61 28. Right then, the charter safe from Great Britain, safe from repeal. What charters? Those charters created by Great Britain. Magna Carta, uh, 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 Treaty of 17, 1609, 1763, and every other one. That's our law. That's the statutory law mm -hmm. that protects us. Now let's go into the constitutional law. Article 13. Article 12 is the statutory codes and the laws from the common law, which is superseded by the Constitution, which is the power and authority from the common law. July 2nd, 1776 Constitution, Article 19, to keep the judges, clerks in check. We see we kept them in check because he filed our documents, as I said, mm -hmm. filed by the county clerk. So that shows you this document, she must have read it because she put us down as grantees pertaining to these rights that are protected for grantees by the legislation given by the grantor, which was running the government under what we call either statutory law, constitutional law, or parliamentary law because parliamentary law is Article 14. Right there. Mm -hmm. Magna Carta, Religion Act, the Fines and Recovery Act, the Currency Act, 
uh, the Adult Conditional Books Act, the Statute of Mortimer, where it says that in 1279 and 1290, uh, King Edward I of England aimed to, at preserving the kingdom revenue by pre preventing land from passing to the possession of the Roman Catholic Church, possession of property by corporations such that the Roman Catholic Church was known as Mortimer, which literally means dead hand. So if you got a mortgage, it's a dead pledge. You just gave it away. And then we allowed to amend our certificate of incorporation. We already found it on the state. We just amended it in the county to say more than we said on the state. So this is a more formal, more express, more liquidated language than we use in the state. Because we know the state don't actually exist because it was yeah. a county at that time and the county was subject to the laws of municipalities and the, and the counties. Because the counties go back to sires and sires go back to hundreds and hundreds go back to King Edward the Peaceful who was the reincarnation, who I'm the reincarnation of as Jesus Christ. And then we follow also uh, the rules in, for incorporation of religious society. You put it right in their face. Rule for incorporation of religious society, 161-1. We read that. 161-2. Right there, certificates, content, recorded effects of corporation, which is subject to 22-2-19. We deal with the filing fees. All right, and that under that, right here. 22-829, county clerk, deputy clerk, superior court fees. And general non-business corporation recording certificate of incorporation of a church, religious society, and congregation. Let's go back to it. Right there, we only paid $25. <laughs> $25. So by us registering with the county clerk, which is the clerk who records all property in the county, which according to the statutory law under the common law, the county is not even legislatively uh, 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 established, nor it doesn't make any reference to the legislation that derived their authority from the Constitution. But yet, our certificate of incorporation is set legislatively, statutorily, and parliamentarily sound in lieu of the law. So, therefore, if anybody got a, a superior claim as a grantee, but it have some law back in it because we got ours. Absolutely. And with that, we, the King's Bench, and his heirs and successors, we digress. I leave Archbishop with the last uh, uh, words, as well as CA. And uh, and I know that our brothers and sisters, as a matter of fact, I'll have everybody other than the officers to say, uh, say a couple of words within a couple of seconds. But we'll go with my Queen first, Archbishop, CA, Brother Burgess, and everybody else can go in their perspective order. <clears throat> Queen? Wow, another beautiful lesson from the King. Uh, and as well as the King's Bench. Um, if these lessons are prevy to everybody who's watching, why not heed and, you know, follow it? I mean, it's not that hard, you know. Um, it's not hidden. This information is readily available to you, you know. So um, uh, I just like to say, uh, you know, just get on board. Like I said before, uh, time is running out. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, you guys don't have a lot of time to get this right. Uh, with that, I digress. Well said, Queen, Archbishop. Well, there you have it, brothers and sisters, um, people, the good people from the Kingdom of England, Empire about Beyond. Um, as we just shown from this lesson that the King has put together, uh, range of regarding birthright citizenship from just Sole to just Sanguinis. Um, those who call themselves American over here, you only have a right via just Sole. You don't have a right via just Sanguinis. And as we have shown via the beginning part of this lecture regarding uh, lunacy and the lunacy acts or the madness acts, um, the whole United States or the whole United uh, British American colonies is now considered a madhouse. As you look around, everyone is walking around claiming to be something they're not, changing their identities, trying to be whatever, whatever the dictates and within their heart. And according to the so-called First Amendment, they have that right to do so underneath United States citizens. But as you as English heirs, you don't have that luxury, excuse me, you don't have the ability to be anything outside what you were created to be as English heirs and English subjects. You know, if you want to be something outside of that, then you're thrown away 
a, a beautiful thing, which is your birthright. And your own scriptures told you, like I said, those who are heirs are going to be throwing right their birthrights for a morsel of bread. If you want to play this game of debt slave, then be our guest. You know, it's more for us. But right now we're giving you the time that you have uh, to be able to pull your memories together based off of you deciding to sacrifice that life that you think is real and come back into the true life that you need to see is real regarding the true church. Um, the king has showed you the statues. You know, this is not abstract. It was incorporated not as a so-called business, but a non-business. So we're not seen here to be trying to make money off of our people because there is no money out here, you know? And as long as you're out here continuing to play these games, you're gonna be stuck underneath, which we call the lunacy acts. So with that being said, um, I digress, leave the rest of the closing to CA Murphy from the house of Murphy, as well as the rest of the brothers and sisters from their house. But, um, but please be warned, like the queen said, you don't have much time. I digress. Well said, Archbishop. Call Judah. Indeed, indeed. Well said, Archbishop. Peace and love, everyone. I trust all is well at the sound of my voice. Um, another marvelous lesson presented by our king and king's bench, uh, queen, um, and the panel. Um, realizing that your birthright and your citizenship, um, you know, uh, go back to a specific house, uh, England, uh, its heirs and successors provable by statutes um immovable um since time immemorial so um you know uh by proof of heirship and inheritance we're showing you that uh, uh this is england and uh, you uh by uh blood uh, are heirs and english people uh and your omission or uh, acknowledgement of that is what's at play or what's at stake uh, I trust all of you will review this lesson, go back and uh, take a look for yourself. Um, but uh, it's a lot of uh, jewels, a lot of uh, concrete evidence. Um, again, uh, Josanguis, uh, the right of blood and, uh, you know, the right of uh, proof of your claim. Remember uh, a lot of the social contracts that you put your signature on uh, are being recorded on the record in your counties and municipalities. And some of them may denote to a misnomer or abstract classification, which you may want to correct uh, by doing so uh, and acknowledging your true heirship. So with all that being said, uh, I love you. I hope, uh, I trust that in all you're getting, you get the understanding of your true hereditaments and your intel heirship uh, by way of uh, uh, good studentry. Um, I leave you as I as I came. Uh, this is your brother Murphy from the House of Murphy. Peace and love. I yield. Well said, well Bless said, you. brother Murphy from the House of Murphy, brother Al Burgess. Blessings, family. Blessings. Yeah, um, it's another another great lesson, man. I hope I hope that y'all paid attention and bring y'all home so we could do this great work. We definitely need y'all here. I love y'all. I appreciate everybody on this panel. Well said, well said, Brother Burgess. Well said, Brother Burgess. We have Sister Walker from the House of Walker. Greetings, everyone. Once Greetings. again, I didn't think the, the lesson could get any better. Um, the King had <laughs> mentioned that um, Archbishop had said on a prior lesson, oh, this is um, the best. And this was actually the best lesson. Mm -hmm. um, I have known about um, just Soli and just Sanguinis um, for a long time, but it wasn't until this lesson, you know, that it really became more concrete. We, he, um, the the king, showed the maps, the the just Soli with restrictions, without restrictions in different parts of um, the world. And here in America, you know, just solely is without restrictions. And that's because we're considered Americans, which are foreigners here. So um, if you are holding on to that, you know, American status, you're just being just solely. So you're gonna fall with all the rights and privileges that that have. When we are the English heirs, we are just sanguinous. And it was a very, very beautiful lesson. 
And not only do we just have the lessons, we have all the, the statutes that protect us that goes with it. So um, the king, you know, when I, when I sit through these lessons, it's like one, two, three, four, he presents all the, the laws. You know, he's not just talking off the top of his head. He presents all the laws, the, the Currency Act, the Fines and Recovery Act, Common Recovery to show how they did this. So it's a lot of um, study that the king has done to, to make this so elementary for us. And all we have to do is go one, two, three. He's laid it all out. So um, thanks for having me here. And I um, will take this knowledge and, and dissect it so that I could show myself approved. Thank you. Well said. Well, well said, Mr. Walker. We appreciate your adeptness, and um, I'm pretty sure that it will unfold as we all should, as flowers planted in the soil best suitable for our growth. And I know this soil at the King's Bench has been uh, well preserved, well uh, 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 sutured by the nurturing uh, for the tiller of the ground. And um, you know, being that I'm planted in the ground best suitable for my growth, I got to get on to my queen because she makes sure that the weeds and everything were not there to succumb me to the, to the desires of the world. And I give on to that, you know, uh, because as I said, uh, Matrilineo and Patrilineo all stem from agnetic succession. And we are only as strong as our weakest link. So with that, we'll move on to Brother Scott from the House of Scott. Thank you, King. Uh, also to you, Queen. Of course, Archbishop and C.A. Murphy, always appreciate it. I do love and enjoy the accurate information that is uh, presented to us as uh, uh, Berber descendants. Obviously, birthright is a powerful thing, uh, status correction. All these things that were discussed uh, today, again, I got a light bulb going off. And then these are thoughts and concerns that I've expressed, but I didn't have that clarity. Now I have the clarity. Um, so it's apparent that this is a fight. This is literally a fight. I didn't realize that we as Berbers were at war with <laughs> our enemy. And this is amazing to me. But this lesson kind of brought everything full circle. So um, I'm looking forward to it. And I have to correct some things individually so I can become a, a, a absolute asset to the church. So I'm going to need some guidance. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of excited about it. So uh, we thank got you, you. everyone. Got you, brother Scott. We got, got you. you. Well said. Well said, uh, brother Millicent. Yes, King. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you, Noble. Uh, indeed, this is another marvelous lesson. And uh, I think the King, you outdid yourself again. <laughs> Thank you. Serious. Never heard nothing like this before, you know. Even as a more and all of that stuff. Truly old class out of this stuff. This is death. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Millerton. And like I said, your gratitude is well received. Um, and this is why, you know, as your king. Uh, I think past your present concerns. And, and that's what we need to do is think past our present concerns. Because everything we want, we don't need. Everything we don't need, that's what we should be. Uh, everything that we don't, we want, we don't need. But everything we do need, we should be trying to acquire that. And that only comes to you being informed. And informed means information. Information means you're on the right line. And in the right line, is on the right track. So with that, we give Brother uh grades or last remarks in regards to this outstanding lesson that's prepared by, for me by me and the queen as well as the uh archbishops uh on behalf of um our obligation as trustees to uh uh feed our children feed our flock so that way they know where to come to for their next feeding and you get the last word about the scott great from the La from the house of gray Can't hear you, no. Yeah, I'm mute yourself, Brother Gray. I just want to say thank you to the King, the Queen, Archbishop, CA, and the rest of the people on here that 
Uh, this was one of the, the, the greatest lessons I ever uh, heard. Um, I started on this journey back in 2016, uh, looking for ancestors on hopes of being <laughs> uh, an Indian. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and I kept digging and, and came to find out that I had a lot of English lineage, Scottish, Irish, and I was looking for a way home and I found it uh, through you guys. I, I tried to talk myself out of it, uh, watching your um, older videos, and uh, but it kept bringing me back and back and back to this channel. And I finally called the king and we had a talk and uh, it really changed my life and uh, changing my family life. My wife got on for a few minutes. Uh, Please do tell ourselves peace and love. I definitely will, King, uh, okay. and my children. Uh, so like the brother said, uh, Brother Scott said, I have uh, got to dedicate my life, my soul, and mine to the church, to the English church. Yes. That's it. That's it. I got the keys. Yes, I open yes, the door. Do. The only yes, thing I got to do. do is come on in. All right. So it, 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 it might not look like you pointed the look, but it's where you need to be. There's no doubt. You know so uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that my my queen shares the same uh, thoughts on behalf of what we're here to do. We love y'all. We know it's gonna get hard in time, but remember, our, our our your reward is with us, and you receive it in due time. So with that, the king, the queen, and the king bit say peace and love. Peace and love, everyone. Talk to you soon. All right, bitch, you call me later, Noble. <laughs>